I think we'll get a much better feel for Cooper in the second half. After he breaks out of a sweat, has a nice fight. There, he got after it defensively. He's struggling to score, as he should. But if he can get himself going defensively, the offense will come. And Cooper's and one. Come on, Bruner, he just kind of is calm. You know, you can tell he's an older guy. Oh, hey. And Petty just cut right in front of him for a layup. Three ball from the corner. That was some serious elevation. Cooper able to split the double on the hoop of his own. I mean, this is supposed to be a rivalry game. There's two tough teams. Cooper just cleared the way for Jones. You got to foul him, knock him down, do something. He's got fouls to give. We'll try the 15 footer and run it down. And every time they're in half court. Here we go. Here is Cooper to the left into the lane. Count it. Looks like he's 28 years old playing. He has been solid so far. And the receiving end. As I said earlier, possession, bad shot, take a forced one is what you just saw. Reese hits the shot. Look at this. There's no reason not to drive the ball. Wow. It just does right in a basketball game. Got a couple of triples now and a couple of digits. And finally, Auburn clears. Here comes Cooper. On the break and the arena. Great possession. Cooper with the takeaway. He's been dynamite this half on the offensive glass. 16 points, six rebounds for Bruner. Cooper, the hesitation, finds four. Second start for Sharif Cooper, the five star. Alan Flanagan in a more natural position. Forget so. that role at the carnival. Tigers lead it eight to four. Cooper attacking off glass count in his first basket. In Can't finish. Marl would be better off using some ball fakes, get defenders up off the floor. I mean, that's why you want to go play for Bruce, right? You know you're going to get your, your looks at it, which we believe is going to take place this year, and it's a big deal to pick up those quad one wins. Well, think about this. You, the committee is still going to... Garcia stayed with the play, created the loose ball, and then Johnson was able to finish. Again, Cooper... In his first half, it feels like they have about twice as many. <laughs> yes, it does. Great Cooper. Feet. Me again. Flanagan benefits Cooper, right? Oh, there's no question. The Wheeler, the step back. Elbow J, well short. A rebound claim by Aking Bola. Here comes Auburn. Kyer turns it over. Here comes Cooper. Easy basket. I think that's a bit of a work in progress. Five on the shot clock for Cooper. There he goes, inside off glass. Run that we've seen this evening has been matched by Auburn. The bounce pass, Cardwell attacking. Good. The SEC that I've seen in a long time. But Roy, I want to go back to that Alabama 19. Not only a tall team, Roy, but a bouncy team. Yeah. Case in point, Cambridge. See, see, see. I mean, he may have one in him tonight by the time it's all said and done. <laughs> Attacking. How about that move? The Johnson, a strong finish. Give him 12. The head. Both Sam well, telling us how emotional they got and just finding out the news. Go ahead. And the young, talented freshman. I do think they've got to get better offensively. Oh, what a look. Sorry, he goes to the bench. Pick from behind. Cambridge. Cooper, alley -oop. That's what he does. And there's the flush. Cambridge. Different guys and different coverages on two and one. Four, grab it in traffic. Three jerseys around him. And what a look there from Cooper. In the top five in both adjusted offensive efficiency and adjusted defensive efficiency. Both five. The, the ice action that Auburn does on those side ball screens, they do it the entire game. Cooper was so deep, he was virtually under the basket. Missed it. Two blue shirts go after it. Flanagan battled him. We got a two on one. That's just a great left handed pass. Dipper on the other end. We'll see if Kentucky can capitalize on it. Cooper to the hole. Great dump up. off and an easy flush. Cooper to four steps into the lane. The harder it goes, 
continue to come back and fight, and now it's a one possession game. Cooper Alley, you oh my goodness. what a pass play. Brooks hedges on Cooper, he goes to the rack, lays it up and in. Sharif Cooper. And Smith puts Arkansas on the board. Transition defense for both of these, these teams will be paramount in this game. Jalen Tate is really a ball hawking defender. Three point shooting. I'm curious to see if that starts to change course this evening. Just one of 16 from downtown. He'll it's beat Franklin. Franklin, two off the bench already for number four in blue. And that starts getting in your head, Roy. Ten to yeah. shoot. Deep three. Cooper connects. I talked about impacting the game in different ways. The Hogs flexing their muscles on the offensive glass a little bit. I know Arkansas staff was worried about their team's confidence. There's nothing wrong with Desi Sills' confidence right now. Cooper. High off the glass, bounces that one home. This year, and Bruce admitted yesterday that the challenge now of keeping his guys motivated with no seed to play for, no standing to play for, nothing in Joe Lenardi's going to the rim, but Bruce Pearl feeds his guys with so much confidence as a shooter, Beth. The only thing he's against is early transition guarded. Through. Cannot knock it down. Just never has been a score, Seventh Woods. Average one point at North Carolina and shot that goes in at a good clip, and you have to be a tough, physical defender at your spot. He's not there on either one of those two yet. They are phenomenal. And continue to I, work on his game. Yes, I, I, I say yes because I think, look at the vision, man. That's, that is uncommon Film that Bruce Pearl talks about. And he understands winning plays, and that's just. Whew. Today against LSU was amazing. All threes and layups. Cooper gonna have a chance from deep, and he'll knock it down. There's something about the vision of that part of the floor. That's that slot three that I'm talking about, Beth. It, just, it really, it's very kind. The conversations I have with people like, you know, my, my friends Doris Burke and, and Jessica Mendoza and, and you know, Holly Rowe. People no, he didn't know what happened. <laughs> you think you think Anthony Jordan said that to Kobe? You know, Dane's son did this the other day. High speed and a two-hand stop for Dylan Mitchell Smith, the senior from Arkansas, drills the first field goal for Missouri. Wow, Cooper attacking. Excellent feed. With the two-point advantage. Now Cooper breaking down. Pinson flew by Will. And I'm really happy for T Tillman because he's had a tough few years in terms of just roller coaster. Alan Flanagan, a freshman from down the road in Powder Springs, Georgia. With seven points, make it nine. Five assists tonight. Rebound to Williams. Cooper. Lob it up. Cambridge, 12th in the country, trying to stretch its win streak to four, looking for its fifth road win here in Auburn. Chris Moore, got another three. Everything seems to be aligning right now for the Tigers at this point in the season. A lot of momentum, and with a three-point lead. That's what they do, get Cooper in a position to be successful, let him go. Sights on the end zone, rolls through. One of the things oh, I that like was about a really good looking shot. They sprint. just couldn't finish. Is way more dangerous, even though he's averaging 22. It's a high volume set of shooting. Goes to the goal, puts it in off the goal. Out of their defense. Well, to that, that point, yeah, to that point, John, they have, uh, I think, the first team All American and. If this team wasn't so balanced, you'd certainly put him in the mix for player of the year along with Luka Garza. I have no freaking idea who would win that game because I've seen them both and they're both great. But if you made me de decide... Yeah, John, because of the S-curve this year, there's going to be no consideration for geography when they put the bracket together. They will be... Continental Tire, John Shambi, Fran Fraschilla, or Bugen Fran, if you prefer. Inside Season Thor. Four 1,000 point scorers on this roster. A lot of upperclassmen for the Rebels. Thor in the lane ties it up. Cooper on the quick counter and one. Tennessee midweek. And now he's back out there with his guys. 
Right, they are not joiner. at full strength, by the yeah. way. Hadim C is unavailable. Gonzaga had a battle the other night against Pacific. Um, heads up. Ooh, Great job. Good work. He loves the process. When we talked to Bruce Pearl about it, uh, he, he was in the gym whenever he could, even though he wasn't working out with the team. They have local time start, but they were sleepwalking for 25 minutes in what seemed like the biggest game in the conference. You win that conference game, you're up for the SEC is pretty much a wrap. But they didn't show up. Anymore. Tried to beat the shot clock buzzer. Cooper, oh, boy. long bounce pass. <laughs> and the well. Ball screen for Cooper who reads the double team. So the quick counter, Cooper. We got numbers, four and five. Oh, oh terrific no look from Cooper to Cardwell. Flanagan. Yeah, Cooper will get it back, obviously, in around 10 seconds and under. Cooper against Toppin. Penetrates, fades, oh, and yes. Auburn leads it with a minute 24 to go in this first half. High screen, Akingbola. Jump shot. shot from the three-point stripe where they were struggling in the first half. Now, all of a sudden, they're dragging the ball to the middle of the floor, driving it to the ball, and then kicking it out. Much easier way to shoot the basketball. 12-2-1. Cooper. Thor, a three. Oh, boy, getting more screening action. If they're going to switch them, get see certain switches, and they've got to be able to take advantage of different mismatches when they get them. And that's what Bruce Pearl talked to us a lot about. You've got to be able to, to guard your yard and, and be able to keep the ball contained. And right now, oh, man, Sharif Kupak. A's across the board. That looks like Dallin's report card. Oh, man, a very low release point. He's got to be able to make freeze consistently. At the and next after level. high gets rejected. Chance for Auburn to close the gap here. Cooper on the spread out. Rebounded by Dylan Cardwell. Devin Cambridge picked up his third foul that last trip down for Auburn. Chance for the Tigers. And it's JT Th back in 2016. That was against Texas A&M. Hit five threes in that game. Cooper down the paint. Oh, he's good. Here's Cooper in traffic again and finishing again. Georgetown native, uh, Georgetown transfer, I should say, from Baton Rouge. Here's Flanagan now. The um, WCC. Blocking foul would be an and 